Hello everyone and welcome to this second part of Future Shop. On this episode we are going to be creating a way for the player to get items. So yeah, let's get started. Okay then, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to add all the elements that will allow the player to get an item. And those elements are a new button, a new UI button. Where is it? Button, right here. And a new UI text so that the player has a visual representation of what item it will get. I will stylize this button and text and we will be right back. Well, now that we have our game laid out as we want it, we need to implement the functionalities. And those functionalities are whenever a player clicks the button, the text right here will change to the appropriate item that he will get. And for that, we need to code. And before we start coding, let's add some folders to our project, one called scripts. And inside scripts, we will have two more folders, one called models and the other one called controllers. Now, before we start, let's create a new empty. Let's zero it out in the transform let's change the name to item controller and let's create the controller to it so let's create a new c sharp script inside controller and let's call it item controller and now that my visual studio knows what is doing let let it work and let's add this script to the game object now before we go any further let's also create a new model and that's going to be a c-sharp script and we are going to call it item and this file if we open it in visual studio this um, this item model script is not going to be a mono behavior right here so it will not have a start and an update method and all this class will be doing is getting our representation of an item so an item can have a name an item can have an, an in-game id that we in the back end can program so let's say we can give you the item with the id number five which can be an iron sword or something an item can have a texture, a sprite, and all that is going to be coded here in this item class. So for now, let's just create a public um, string and let's call it name. So for right now, an item only will contain a name. And for this to work, we need a very special thing that Unity allows us to do, and that is system.serializable. And this will make our class be able to be displayed here on our inspector. And we can see that 
if we now jump into our item controller, which is going to be a mono behavior, but let's just clear everything out first and let's create a public item available items. And this is going to be an array of available items that the player will be able to get. So now if we save everything, wait for it to compile, and let's go to our item controller, you can see that we have an array, let's give it five, of available items. And those items are the ones that the player will be able to get. For now, I will hard code them, uh, but for later, you can get those items from a text file. So let's create the item names. I will just go and randomly set up names for this. Okay, my items are already set up in place. We have wires, we have electronics, aluminium, sensors and copper. I just came up with random items. And if you have any ideas for items, make sure to stick them in the comments and I will check them out and add them to the game in the next video. But now let's wire the button to get one of those items and display it on the item display. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to have a reference to wherever we want to display this. So let's go using unity engine.ui because we are going to using be using the UI. Let's go public text item display text and let's create a method that will display one of those items so let's go public void get item and for now let's go debug dot log and let's go available items and random dot range from zero to available items dot length. So this will generate a random uh, value between zero and the amount of items that we have. It will then get one of those items and display the name. But now we need to add the button here in the button script needs to get a new on click method and we will go item controller get item now this if we run it you will see that in the console whenever we click here right here in the bottom we are getting oops we are getting items whenever we click the button so let's go get item get item get item as you can see random items are appearing and now all you need to do is in the item controller we need to add reference the text and now it's just a matter of doing item display text dot text is going to be equals to this that we are already have. So let's go ahead and test this and if everything went according to my calculations whenever I click this get item button a new item will appear up there. So yeah as you can see we just got copper and another one copper and electronics and wires and so on and so forth. So right now you have everything working as when you click the button you get new items okay guys we just reached the end of the episode in the next video we are going to create a very very simple inventory where whenever you get an item instead of it disappearing into smoke or something it will go into an inventory where you can check all your items and we are going to display that in uh, this screen right here so until there if you like the video give it a like 
comment on it and if you want to see more videos go ahead and subscribe to my channel new video every single week so until the next one have a nice day